Today we're talking about sealing up your joints, your corners, around your windows, doors, gable, where it needs the roof line, etc. Um, so traditionally we've always talked about, you know, caulking those, uh, using a caulking that's good for all temperatures, low and high. Um, but recently I came across um, more so the idea of chinking like a log home. Um, but naturally your bunkie you know, doesn't have gaps from the logs the way the log home does. Um, but I found this uh, material called uh, Permachink Energy Seal. So it's designed for smaller cracks, like they say about a half inch or less. Obviously, you know, the spaces we're using it for are, are pretty minute, um, but I'm trying it as more of a caulking material. Now, so far it's pretty cool. It's a bit messier to work with than I find standard caulking is. Um, it feels a bit more like a cross between a grout and a caulking. Um, so when it dries, it feels kind of sandy, um, but if you push on it, it's still kind of elastic -y. So the whole point behind that is that it expands and contracts with the wood in your bunkie. Um, so it's going to apply just like standard caulking does. We'll zoom in here, we'll let you see how that is. So I'm just going to put a bead down the side of this window frame here. So I'm applying this, this is just a bulk caulking gun that you're seeing me using here, um, just because I'm doing so much of it. But yeah, you just apply it down same way as you would standard caulking. And then I'll show you what I do. And then I just take my finger and kind of smoosh it in and run my finger down it just lightly, kind of wiping it off on my rag where I need to. Just kind of making sure that it's fully on there. Just finish running it down here. And then I let it dry. And when it dries, follow me around this way. You can take a peek at that. So this corner is all dry. And again, it's got a bit of a texture to it. It's a little bit gritty, kind of like a grout. But when I push on it, it's got give to it. It has some elasticity to it. So um, we'll see how it works. I, I have a good feeling about it. Um, I feel like it penetrates into the joint better than silicone. But let's finish this bunky and put it to the test and see how it holds up. And I'll keep you posted. All right. So um, I finished all my chinking. Now I'm staining the bunky. And I just thought I would show you guys um, how the stain goes with the chinking because I know the common questions are, you know, with caulking, do I caulk first? Do I caulk after stain? Um, so with the chinking, I did the chinking first um, and I picked a color that was going to be close to the stain color that I was using. So I picked a gray, as you can see here. But um, let me just put some stain on my brush here and you can see how we go. So... I'm just going like right over it, not really paying much attention. There you go. And you can see that the chinking really does good with the stain. Like it seems like the stain just soaks right in and you just don't even notice. So I'm quite pleased with it. It's uh, definitely takes better to stain than caulking for sure. So it's been a few weeks, everything's been stained, and just thought I'd kind of show you an update on my chinking, and I'm just so pleased with it. I really am excited about this product. So I, I did all the sides of the corner. I also did like right here, around here, and around the other side as well, but like it is really in there. I'm really quite pleased with it. Um, I think this is my new favorite over caulking. We'll see how it goes all through the winter season. I'm excited to see, but so far, so good. I'm really pleased with the result.